Joe Pleasant acrobatics. Oh my goodness. Stuck back and slammed home by Joe Pleasant. Coach, you know, believing in me and uh, me putting the work over the summer to be able to be at the point I am now. Backs up, jumper, good. Joe Pleasant. I'm just not putting any pressure on myself. I'm just going to play a sport that I love. And the athletic gene really seems to run your family. Anthony, your dad, played 14 seasons in the NFL as a defensive end, won two Super Bowls for the Patriots, actually. Did you play a lot of football growing up? When I was younger, I was so excited to play football. And when I played, it was just kind of like, man, it was like, it was fun, but it wasn't something I was as passionate about. I don't know, you know, I, I think about it now sometimes thinking like, you know, like, you know, what if I would have played, like, Joe, like, most everything, I kind of do want to play football just to see, you know, to see how far I can go with it. But. Here comes ACU up 14. alley -oop for Pleasant, and he slams it home. How has your dad's success motivated you to play competitively in the Division One level? Yeah, you know, I always, you know, see my dad. I see his accomplishments and stuff that he's done. And I, I wouldn't say it puts any pressure on me, but it's like kind of like just like, I want to see, you know, what all I can do, you know, if I can meet, meet the standards that he set and do some things similar to that. And I always strive, you know, to reach, you know, that type of level of success. And this season, you've made a tremendous leap statistically from your freshman year now into your sophomore year. What's led to your success on the court? Uh, I'd say uh, coaches trusting in me, believing in me, uh, my teammates, you know, they push me every single day uh, in practice, you know, on and off the court. Uh, they helped me to get better. Uh, the work that I put in just through, throughout the summer, uh, my family support, I feel like it's just a, a number of factors that has helped me to just uh, grow on and off the court. And one of your teammates you've played with a long time, Damian Daniels, when was the first time you played basketball with him? So it was actually high school. I think it was like, uh, I remember uh, going in, we were about to go play to a high school team. And I remember one of my uh, AAU coaches was like, hey, y'all better watch for Damian, you go mess around and score 40 on you guys. And I was like, I was like, Damian, I was like, oh snap. Like, Cause I remember I even played like my, you know, my freshman year, I played his AAU team. I remember he beat us uh, my freshman year on my AAU team. And in high school, still okay, we got a chance, you know, beat, you know, we pay him back, you know. And that game, oh, it, was, it wasn't too good for him. But, you know, we, we got the win, we got the win. And walk me through the recruiting process here to ACU. So was there ever a point in time where you and Damian were set on playing together? Or did that just happen? So it was uh, at like our last summer of playing basketball. We both just went to a new team and we kind of like knew of each other because, you know, we didn't play previously. So we were just kind of like hooping. And then like, you know, at times we kind of had a good chemistry. We kind of like, joked around and said like, you know, we kind of cool if we went to the same school together. I mean, we go on a visit together. And he's calling me and the next day like, hey, bro, I think we're committed. You coming here, like, come on, bro. You know, let's make something happen. You know, it's going to be fun. You know, let's go ahead, get this thing going. Can I get a witness? Abilene Christian to the NCAA Tournament, winners of the Selfland Conference Tournament. And coming off that conference championship last season, it's a completely different team. A lot of seniors last year. What's the biggest difference from last season's team and this season? I guess it's different that, you know, throws change, you know, it's a lot. You know, it's not the same team that was last year. You know, we had uh, some more upperclassmen last year, and now you see we, have, we still have some here. And you see them taking on a bigger uh, leadership role. And then we even have some younger guys, you know, stepping up, you know, having to be leaders, having to uh, step up on and off the court and just uh, maybe help uh, lead some of these newer guys, you know, to, into our culture and, you know, what it is we are about. But I still think, you know, what they left, you know, the seniors and upperclassmen, what they left last year is still embodied into some of the players here today.